Hi, I'm Mr Buckley and I'm one of three A-level geography teachers here at Crossville Hill School. I've been at school for around six years and I'm going to talk to you today about why you should take A-level geography here at Crossville Hill School. A-level geography at Crossville Hill School follows the OCR exam board. Uh, we've chosen this because we felt like it carried on perfectly from GCSE level uh, and also it prepared our geographers for contemporary studies of the world around them and where they live. There are three core elements to the OCR A-level. One, physical systems. Two, human interactions. And three, geographic debates. There is a fourth, but I'll come back to that later. Physical systems is made up of two key elements. The first is coastal landscape systems, and the second is earth life support systems. Earth life support systems is a fantastic new topic that was introduced in 2016. It covers the water and carbon cycle and their impact on the world around them. Human interactions is really contemporary, stuff you hear about in the news. Migration issues, human rights issues, and changing spaces making places. Now changing spaces making places is one of the new topics uh, and that covers why we, why we feel certain ways in certain places. The last of the three is geographic debates. Geographic debates is more contemporary than ever before. It covers your case studies, such as Hazardous Earth, where we study the earthquake in Haiti and the, uh, and the tsunami in Japan. It covers the geography of disease, more contemporary than ever with the COVID-19 crisis going on, but it also covers diseases such as Ebola, cancer and heart disease. So all of these topics are fantastic, really up to date, really, really modern and will make you the best geographer possible. Now the fourth element that I spoke about is your independent inquiry. Now this is a piece of work, a piece of coursework that counts for 20% of the A-level and is independent to you and is a research project that has been based on uh, other research that's already done, been done. At Geography at Costa Hill School we have many options including people who have done them on uh, Oxford Parkway and its impact on Killington, the impact of Bista Village on uh, the surrounding area as well as many others in the local area. So, assessment, exams. Now, there are, as I said, there are three core elements and there are three exams that go with that. The first exam is, for your, is your physical geography or physical systems and it's an hour and a half. The same again for paper two. However, this time it's an hour and a half paper on human interactions, so the human geography. The last paper, paper three, which is your geographic debates paper, is the longest at two and a half hours and includes some 33 mark questions However, it's the opportunity for you to flex your geographic muscles and allow the examiner to understand what a great geographer you are. So, why study geography here at Gosford Hill School? Well, like I said before, there are three subject specialists at school, myself, Miss Curtis and Miss Black, and we are experts in our subject, gone through university and beyond, just to make sure you are prepared for your exams. Two, we have a proven track record of academic success in this subject, with in 2019, 100% of our students getting A star to C grade, and within that, 25% of those students received an A star or a grade A. Fantastic! In 2020, the grades were just as good with 100% A star to D, with 40% of our students getting an A star to a C grade which is brilliant. Our students do really, really well and are really successful in their subject. Finally, as you know, geography is all about the world around you. And as a result, students who take geography are better prepared for the world of work and further study. So where can geography lead you in the future? Many of our students go off to university to study geography. And we've had lots of students study geography at a variety of levels and at a variety of universities, including some of England's most prestigious. Last year we had a student go off to study geography at London School of Economics, and we've had students go off to study geography at other universities such as Cardiff, Bristol, and Birmingham. So lots of very prestigious universities. Beyond that, lots of our students do go on to study other courses outside of geography, but most of those go to study at top level universities, as well as top level apprenticeships. So, beyond university, there are many careers that can be involved in the study of geography. We have town planners, petrochemicals, environmental scientists, as well as other students who have gone on to study other courses, have gone into the, the world of work, law, and
and uh, finance, as well as many other business related courses. Geography is really respected by employers as it allows employers to see that you have an understanding of the world around you and an understanding of contemporary issues that might affect businesses or works of employment. I hope to see you in September studying A-level geography here at Oxford Hill School. Have a lovely evening.